So this is one of my runaround days today that I am trying to get all my errands done. I started out the morning with Trisha and we had, I brought Starbucks passion fruit mango hot tea over to start our day. So we chit chatted for a couple hours, went on the internet, had some laughs and I uh, then had to get going because I thought, well, as long as I'm over by her, I'll head to Hermosa and do some errands. Oh, I got, I, w I went to the vintage store. They have two of them. I have to wait till I get home, but oh my god, I got bags full. And wait till you see these shoes that I got there are so cute. I guess I just kind of got inspired when I saw um, the U new YouTubers. Oh, uh, what's it? Holy Jesus and Angel. And they go to thrift stores all the time. I thought, oh, because I, I love this store when I used to live here. And I stopped at both of them and I will show you what I got when I get home but I did I did need to come to the post office because I needed to check my P.O. box because I haven't done that a while and I know some of you have been asking and I needed stamps and look at the cool stamps they have now Batman I don't know how much stamps are but these were like almost 10 bucks for the sheet I guess there's 20 stamps on there but it's been a while since I bought some but look at sexy Batman woohoo so, yeah, I got that finally to send my bills out with. Ooh, sorry, I do not look good. I just kind of knew I was going to wear my sunglasses and be incognito today. So, I wouldn't have to do the full makeup. But, I did want to share with you some of the mail I got today. Just a shout out to some of you guys that have been really, really nice. Here's a letter uh, from Fort Valley, Virginia. Caitlin, Caitlin, I won't say your last name. But, I got this one from her to open. I'll uh, open it when I get home. Here's another one from Wapahu, Hawaii. So cool. From Grace. Thank you, Grace. Can't wait to open these. Then there's another one from Knoxville, Tennessee. You go, girl, in the south. It's from Adina. I don't I don't even know if you really can see. It's kind of a glare in here. This one's uh this one's to Trisha. Not for sure who that's from. It's uh by airmail, but there you go, Trisha. That girl gets mail even in my P.O. box, I tell you. This one's kind of um, interesting. It's uh, from, doesn't really say. It went through customs, though. So, it doesn't have who's, oh, here on the back. From South Australia. Wow, you, wow, from a Diana. Mount Compass, South Australia. Pretty cool can't wait to see what's in there either but anyway thank you all so much I will do that when I get home and then I will also show you what I got at the vintage store and this is like a fun day for me the only more fun it would have been if Callie or Trisha would have been with me because I love to find finds and comfy clothes and anyway it's hot it's like oh my gosh it must be like 80 here at the beach city so when I get back home it'll be a little cooler where I'm at but uh, it's getting late already so I want to beat the traffic I was gonna get these great those great uh, drumsticks here in Hermosa but uh, it's too hot I think they'll just be really melted by the time I get home so was gonna ride my bike over here I thought I'm so glad I didn't it just would have been so hot and a long trip and I kind of got started late I didn't leave Trisha's till like one so Anyway, I hope it's great weather where you're at, and I'll chit chat later. Okay, so I'm all excited. I finally got home from my little excursion over to Hermosa Beach, Redondo Beach, and Manhattan Beach, and I'm so excited. I stopped at three sh thrift shops. I wasn't even going to, but I thought, you know, I have time. I'm going to, and oh my gosh, I found some really, really cute stuff. I'm going to show you in my first thrift shop what I got. This is a little place in Hermosa, right on Hermosa uh, Avenue. And you know, I don't know the guy's name who uh, lives there, but it's like, or lives there. He lives there and he works there. But he never puts a, a receipt in, so I don't know what it's called. It's probably a sign outside, but it's right by, there's two video stores right by each other. I don't know her name either, but I'm going to get started on what I did buy there. One is, this is cool, I was looking for really comfy sweatshirts right here. 
Ruins, size large, oh my gosh. It's like so comfy. It's like a, a boyfriend style draping off your shoulders. It's my new pajamas. I love it, it comes right under my bum. This was $15, but I, I, I love it. It was probably more than what I, you would pay, you know, at Goodwill, but it was what I wanted. And, oh my gosh, this brings me back to the 80s. And he said that these Levi jeans, your 501s, right, are coming back. Everybody wants them. There was two pairs there today. He goes, yeah, he goes, I can't keep them. These were $25, but, you know, they're kind of like the high-waisted ones with this. You know, you can roll up the bottoms to make them look kind of more cooler. But I always loved Levi's because I always thought they, they made your butt separated and they lifted them. It was kind of a good a good thing. So, it's like I splurged on those. I remember having these, and I think I got rid of them to Goodwill, like in the 90s. Oh, by the way, this shirt compliments of Trisha. Do you recognize this girl? <laughs> no, Trisha gave me this shirt. I don't know if she still sells these, but this is really nice material. I really, I like them. I, I would say get one if you want one, but she's got this big picture in her dining room. You probably maybe have seen it on some of her videos, but it's nice. It's a fitted one. So for all you girls who like that, get one if you can. Then I kind of got this on a whim. I I'm, haven't got a lot of t-shirts, and I wanted to start and getting some. So this, I liked the fit. I'm not for sure what tennis en France means. If anybody knows, let me know, but I love it. It's like just kind of a looser fitting tee, which I like. I don't like the real tight ones. So this one, this one was a bargain. I think this was only like $8, and it's... Uh, well, actually, it was a Hanes shirt, so somebody put that on there. But loving that, I got that one. And then, oh, Rock or Barbie, my daughter, Callie, had a jean jacket. I thought, oh, I need a jean jacket. And he had this jean jacket from the 80s, the original. And what was cute, he had them rolled up. And I thought, oh, my gosh, it's a Lee's one. Oh, I should have my glasses. I'm not for sure of the size, but... I did try it on. I loved it. And I see girls like wear it with skirts in that. Oh gosh, I can't get it open. But I did try it on there. That guy is, he is so neat. I mean, everything hanging up, is every button's button. Every zipper is zipped. But anyway, this is my find of the day. I don't even know. I don't know if he had a price on it or he just got it out. But, oh, here it is. It was, hmm. $28. That's cheaper than new ones. And this is like the real McCoy, right? Oh my gosh. I can't wait. I don't, I have to look up online what everybody's wearing with them for outfits of the day. Because I want to be in, you know. This next thing I got, I'm not going to say what it is, but whoa, I got it for Trisha for her birthday. I'll let you know after her birthday because hopefully she watches my videos. And I can't show it. But anyway, then I took, uh, oh, I went to the next one. Let me finish up the Vintage Doors in Hermosa Beach, which I got this I, little cardigan. I love the beading. I, it's like old, old school. It's 100% wool, but I, I had one a long time ago, and I swung, shrunk it to... A doll size so I always wanted another one it's a little shorter than what I would wear but I figure I would wear like a tank a, a tighter fitting tank maybe a, a lower part of jeans but then I thought of getting a high-waisted sailor type pair of pants Trisha had a pair like that like get an off white I thought of that that might be kind of cool like up to here because I think it comes the sweater comes maybe to here and then just have a pant that meets it. Oh, I'm going to have to look that up on the internet. I love the internet because you can find whatever you're looking for. If you say high-waisted ivory slacks, there's a ton of them. I mean, I don't know how we ever got along with them. Without, I'm sorry, without the internet, when I was growing up, like in the 60s and the 70s, no, I never had a computer ever. Okay, so 
Then before I went through to Manhattan Beach, I was going to be on my way home, and I stopped at CVS because I always remember they have this on sale always, $4, Andre Spamante. That is the cheapest you will ever find, CVS, two for $8. So I've got four. <laughs> And here's the ironic thing about this. I don't know if many of you shop at CVS, but they'll give you a while, uh, extra bucks, like say today. You get two uh, CVX bucks if you buy two of these, right? To use on a later purchase. So I did, so I got $4 worth, right? Because I bought four bottles. And the ironic, here's the ironic thing. When you go to respend those, you can't spend them on certain items like uh, postage and alcohol is one of them, but you get the bucks for this. I thought that is very strange. But anyway, hey, I got four bucks to spend later. Maybe I'll need some Tylenol or more lipstick. Who knows? Oh, and uh, also from that lady shop in Hermosa Beach, I got these. I always was looking for some wedges, and these were kind, really kind of cute. They're a light. They're not an ankle, but they have a little zipper in the back. And I'll have to wear them for now for the day because they just, when you put them on, they're just really, really cute. They're something I've never, ever seen. But I, I'll, I'll wear them sometime. They're a little, like, loose up here, but they're both like that. So I'm thinking that's how they were supposed to be. So it, they're, they're, I think they're real leather. They smell like it. I know you guys are going to say, oh, you smell douche shoes, but you know, sorry. And I can't read what they are. I had to try and get my glasses on. Why should they like designer shoes? Who knows? Those were 10 bucks. I mean, those, you know, if I wore them a couple times, but I don't, I think they'll look good with jeans. I'm a new jean jacket. Womp womp. Okay, then I was heading home. I swear I was heading home because I had enough. Oh, by the way. Time out. I remember I showed you these shells. I finally unwrapped them. And there's that little green coral piece that I kind of bought the whole shells for from the swap meet the other day. Because I love them. So I put them in here for now. It's a serving of shells. Okay, anyway. Not, enough of that. Anyway, I was on my way home, but Goodwill pulled me and I thought, you know, just going to go look. And then I bought a whole bag full from them. I have to say, I watched the new YouTubers that uh, Angel does Trisha's hair often, and it's Holy Jesus, Jesus and Angel, and they did a thrift store thing. I thought, oh, you know, that stuck on my mind. I love them, and I don't get near them enough, but I went, because, you know, everything's either $3.99 or $5.99, so since the rompers are in. I got this blue one. It is really, really cute. I don't know who it's by. I don't see anything by it. But it ties up here. Trish should be jealous because we like, we're like trying to find all the cute rompers. But this one's really cute. I love it. $5.99. I will wear it a lot. And then I found another t-shirt. It must have been a good day to buy t-shirts. This one is another one. Well, this one's from Old Navy but I don't know how old it is, but it's it my kind of fit, so I got it in Paris. Boy, la la, can't go wrong with that on the shirt. And oh, this is the most gorgeous skirt. It's a Forever 21. It I don't know what color that is. It's like, it's not gray, and it's kind of almost a dark olive, but this, I like the zipper because it looks like it's sewn wrong way. But it's really form-fitting, and I probably wear something like um, an ivory with it. If you guys have any suggestions for that color, let me know, because it's really cute, cute on. Then I got another skirt, another fitting skirt. I love the form-fitting skirts. This one's a little wild for me, but uh, once I got it on and I put the waistband down, it was pretty calm, <laughs> pretty calming. I will probably, I don't know what I'm going to wear with it. I don't know. We'll see. Probably some kind of a cardigan. I usually wear with these. I like them. Oh, I do have a pink. I do have that color pink cardigan. Pink cardigan. Somewhere. Well, I'll wear it for an outfit. I have to wear my thrift shop outfit of the day. 
sometimes. These I really liked. They were big, a little big, but I think I can always have them altered. But I just, I never have a longer version. And I just kind of sometimes think I want to do that when I want to just kick along the beach in like a sweatshirt and just be really comfy. I just need to have probably two inches, I think, taken in my waist. But I liked them. And they were, for five bucks, I can pay somebody 10, 12 bucks to take in the waist. But I liked them, so I'll try it, you know. What am I going to miss out on? Then, of course, last but not least, I did buy a cardigan. I cannot walk away from Goodwill without buying a cardigan. This is nice. It is also a form-fitting one. It looks brand new. I mean, I'm amazed at some of the stuff there that's just never been worn. This is from Ann Taylor of The Loft. It says extra small. I do not wear extra small, but it works. It fits. I love brown, too. I... Oh, I can wear this with my pants once I get them fixed and just go walking along the sand, on the sand, with my glass of Asti. Have to hide it like it's in a coffee cup so they don't think there's alcohol on the beach. That's my little trick. Okay, so that was my excursion for the day. I'm going to eat now. It's almost 5 o'clock. I'm going to eat and need to pack for my trip and I'll tell you more about that later but you know a lot of people don't go to thrift shops because they think it's all uh, junk and way used over but it's not it you know try it I have one of my favorites you'll end up having your favorites too so you know just trying to inform you on good deals reasonable deals don't always have to have new things because like I say some of this stuff is like brand new, never been worn. I've had stuff with tags on it already. So anyway, thanks for watching and I love you all. Have a good meal. Stay safe and do one thing good for somebody every day. That's my model. And I was going to say this earlier, but I try to be better when I drive, when people have their blinker on and want to get over I let them get over. I, it's like, I'm no, why, I'm not in any hurry. You know, give the guy a break. It's only one car, maybe two. That is try, what I try and do now every day when I drive. I try and be a better person. Maybe, you know, they need to get out, especially the bigger trucks. You know, give them a break. None of us really have to be anywhere that fast. That only takes seconds for Say, hey, come on over. You know, be nice. Be a nice driver. That's what I am doing. And I feel better. I feel, you know, I feel really good. You know, I didn't, I didn't ram up there, you know, so they couldn't get in like you see a lot of drivers. And I think it's important that we care about each other even while we drive. So if you can do that every day, God bless you. See ya.